prove by mathematical induction that a given statement is true. We can see that n is a positive integer, hence the first possible value of n is 1, so consider n is 1. And we can see that um, the left-hand side is the nth derivative, and if n is 1, it's just the first derivative of a given function. So the left-hand side, by taking derivative of x squared e to the power of x, it is equal to, we can see that uh, it's a product of two functions, so we should apply a product rule, so it becomes 2x e to the power of x plus x squared e to the power of x. We can factor out e to the power of x, which is equal to 2x plus x squared e to the power of x. And the right-hand side, uh, just from the statement, substituting 1 for n, we get x squared plus 2 times 1 uh, times x plus uh, 1, 1 minus 1 e to the power of x, which is x squared plus 2x e to the power of x. As the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, it's true for n is 1. The next step is as usual. We write assume true for n equals k and just rewrite a given statement, substituting k for n. So, Assume true for n equals k. So dk over dx k of x squared e x is equal to x squared plus 2kx plus k k minus 1 e to the power of x. The next step. Consider n is k plus 1. For n is k plus 1, the left-hand side becomes derivative with number k plus 1, dk plus 1 of x squared e x over dx k plus 1 is equal to derivative with number k plus 1 is derivative over the derivative with number k. So we can rewrite it as derivative of dk of x squared e x dx k and we can see that uh, the, uh, the case derivative is equal to this so we can substitute it and get that uh, it's derivative of x squared plus 2kx plus k k minus 1 e to the power of x and we can just calculate it. We can see a product of two functions, so apply a product rule. It becomes uh, derivative of the first, 2x plus 2k plus 0, because it's just a constant, e to the power of x plus the first, k, k minus 1, multiplied by the derivative of e to the power of x, which is e to the power of x. We can factor out e to the power of x, and it becomes plus k squared minus k, and multiplied by e to the power of x, which is equal to x squared plus, we can factor out 2x, and it becomes 2k plus 1x plus 2k minus k is plus k, so and uh, factor out k, and it becomes k, k plus 1, e to the power of x. And we can see that it's uh, the same as required for n is k plus 1. So k, k plus 1 must be here, 2kx. So it's true for n is k plus 1. And conclusion, if true for n equals k, true for n equals k plus 1. Since true for n equals 1, true for any 
n is positive integer. And the next question, hence otherwise, determine the Maclaurin series of x squared e to the power of x in ascending powers of x up to and including the term in x to the power of 4. The Maclaurin series is uh, an approximate value of uh, any function about 0 when x is close to 0 and the formula is given in data booklet and it says that any function is equal to f of 0 plus uh, the first derivative of 0 times x plus uh, the second derivative of 0 x squared over 2 factorial which is 2 plus the third factorial is 0 x cubed over 3 factorial which is 6 plus uh, the fourth derivative at 0 x to the power of 4 over 4 factorial which is 24 plus terms containing the higher powers of x and we can see that we need f of 0 and the derivatives at uh, 0 so let's find them f of 0 is just 0 the first derivative at 0 we can use uh, the statement so x is 0, n is 1, and we can see that it's 0, 0, 0, 0. The second derivative is 0, x is 0, n is 2. So 2 times 1, 0, 0, it's 2. The third derivative is 0, n is 3, so 3 times uh, 2, 6, 0, 0, it's 6. And uh, the fourth derivative is 0, 4 times 3, 12, 0, 0, it's 12. Hence, f of x becomes 0 plus 0, x squared over 2 multiplied by 2, it's uh, x squared plus 6 over 6 x cubed, so just x cubed plus uh, 12 over 24, x to the power of 4, x to the power of 4 over 2 plus so on. Hence, or the words determine the value of a given limit. So, limit x tends to 0, x squared e to the power of x minus x squared cubed over x to the power of 9 is equal to limit x tends to 0. Since x tends to 0, we can uh, substitute a given series for f of x for x squared e to the power of x. So it becomes x squared plus x cubed plus x to the power of 4 over 2 plus uh, uh, the higher powers of x minus x squared cubed and uh, x to the power of 9 is x cubed and cubed and it is equal to limit so we can see that it's uh, zero and uh, we can represent it as x cubed over x cubed plus x to the power of 4 2 x cubed plus um, so on and cubed and it becomes limit x tends to 0 1 plus and we can see that it's uh, x over 2 plus since uh, there are the higher powers of x and each term is divided by x cubed so it becomes 1 plus powers of x and cubed and if we substitute 0 for x we get 1 plus zeros hence this limit is equal to 1 and that's all for this question